so beautiful! It was a bar in Mexico, and I was dancing real slow. It was the night I got to know Valletta. I asked her if she was a she. Valletta is non-binary. I said it's all okay with me. Be what you want to be. Sugar pop. Leo, the day, the day, the day. If you like mayo, then mayo's okay. Ayo, the day, the day, the day. Valletta, take me. Take me away. Some of his hair still in it. Bank, bank, bank. A mop, a hat, a lamp, extension, need the bells and feather. With a bank and a bank and another bank, you can put them all together. It's easy. Bank, 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 bank. Pressure and water. Bank, 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 bank. Hot water bottle. Bank, 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 bank. A letter from him saying, please never contact me again. As I propose that life could be la vie en rose, it all depends on what you see. Lend me your ear and follow me. I chose the life I picked, the course. Je marche la ligne with no remorse. But I may not understand beaucoup, but I can understand tis you. I'm your desire. Bon bon super sweet Bon bon super sweet We the world has problems But they can take a hike Have a bite of the bon bon Give you an insulin spike You got a hole in your pocket I've got a needle and a thread Got your cat stuck in a tree Well you can pet me instead Take a walk along the sand, have us a celebration. Come with me and you'll be free. We'll fly to one new galaxy. And as we sit amongst the stars, we'll marvel at our new sun Mars. Know that it is all because Limon Bon Super Sweet. There's a game that we'll play. You can play it your own way, any way you wanna be, your own happy family. Papa Coelho, Mama Coelho, Filu Filia Coelho, Familias Felices. Mama Moshu, Mama Orisu, Meninos, Ratinos, Familias Felices. La di da di, la di da, familias. La di da di, la di da, familias felices. 
La di da di la di da familia. La di da di la di da familia felices. Borren chela ome aranya golfino macaco familia felices. La di da di la di da familia. La di da di la di da familias felices. La di da di la di da familias. La di da di la di da familias felices. Who ever heard of a sad clown? And yet the world is still laughing. <laughs> Does my tears not mean anything to anyone? Because they're painted with the blood of a penguin, a poor defenseless penguin. We have enslaved them for our selfish needs. They cannot even fly away because we'll hunt them for their meat and their marrow and their beaks are used for ashtrays. Funny things are easy to ignore. But it's not funny anymore. It's not funny. It's not funny anymore. No. Stop using penguins for your fancy hats and shoes. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for your love.
Good evening and welcome to the Showstoppers Alternative Eurovision Song Contest 2021! Woo! Yes, that smattering of socially distant studio applause means that we are back and we are bigger than ever. Yes, we have everything you could hope for from an evening of Eurovision extravaganzas. We have got music, we have got glitter, we have got high camp, we have got it all. This time last year, uh, I was doing this speech from my bedroom whilst everything was locked down, but uh, we've gone bigger and better this year. Uh, we are broadcasting live from our socially distant studio in North London, uh, and I am, of course, not by myself. I'm joined once again by my amazing co-host for this evening, Pippa Evans. How are you feeling? Pippa. I'm feeling very excited, Andrew. Thank you so much. It's always a joy to be at least two metres away from you. That I will take that in the spirit in which it probably wasn't intended. <laughs> well, it's fun not to not to have my camera balanced on, on books. And wow, what a show we have for everybody tonight. We really have pulled it out of the bag yet again for the 2021 Showstopper Alternative Eurovision Song Contest. Absolutely. Now, you and I have seen uh, all of the acts' rehearsals mm. uh, this afternoon in the days leading up to it. And I have to say, I'm pretty, feeling pretty good about uh, all of the songs. Yeah, oh, there, there are some real smashes. Uh, and this, but this year, of course, we still have had to be socially distanced. Some of the acts, we weren't able to fly everybody over as we had originally planned. So some of the acts are coming to us live from their bedrooms. Some of them have managed to get to a local studio. But we can promise, though they are far away, we are together in spirit. Absolutely. And as last year, this whole event is in order to raise money for the Care Workers Charity, uh, an amazing organisation uh, that helps those who work looking after us, which we need more than ever right at the moment. So, uh, this evening, you will be able to vote for your favourite act uh, as the competition goes on. And what we ask is that when you do so, you also give a donation to the Care Workers Charity at the same time. The details there are on the screen at the moment. You can go to showstopperthemusical.com and follow that. And uh, we'd love you to give as generously as you can. Yes, and we should also say that tonight we have a live captioning available. Uh, Claire Hill, the wonderful Claire Hill, is here typing away everything that we say so that it can be enjoyed by everybody. So we'll be sure not to say too many ginormous, uh, long, and dangerously strange words. <laughs> Were you attempting to think of some long words? <laughs> I was trying. And the only one I could think of was uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And, but I thought that would be cruel. Yeah, there we go. Well, that is, that's in the stream now. Lovely. Uh, now, Pippa, maybe, maybe it's a good place to start by talking about some of the acts uh, that uh, people are going to be watching this evening. Um, Oh, yes. Well, we've got lots of wonderful acts. So, of course, we'll start with those who are returning to us. So the first person returning to us is Yana Novakova Kova for the Czech Republic. Very political last year. Let's uh, see if she's managed to rein it in. Uh, but we'll, we could be surprised. Marla returns, the beautiful Marla for Italy. Marco Falazio for Montenegro will be bringing us his charming vocals, his beautiful voice. Archangel comes for Russia. Will he be sinister? Will he be strange? We can probably guarantee both. <laughs> Hakan returns for Turkey, which is a surprise because he wasn't super popular last year, but hey, never stop dreaming, as they say. But most interestingly is Hay. Hay, who last year entered from his homeland of Sweden, this year is entering with his now wife, Christina Janssen, to represent Latvia, which must be quite weird for Hay, but... Hey, I'm sure he's used to it. In fact, actually, last week they appeared on Chatvia TV, which is the most famous morning show in Latvia. So why don't we hear what they had to say about their entry? Good morning, welcome to Chatvia TV. Today's guests, Eurovision superstars Hey and Christina Janssens. They tell us all about their whirlwind romance and how it all started. I came from a, a fishing village in Slumser. I was born in Slovenk and I didn't think that uh, I would ever be doing this kind of thing. I'm just a normal girl from a normal small village. My dad was a fisherman and we'd be out on the lake dawn till dusk. You know, well, in Sweden, it's dawn till dawn. I first sung in my bathtub and it was called Fly on the Wings of an Angel. And um, I, I, I basically, I recorded it in Cardiff. And I used to sit in the boat and I would sing songs, I would play my guitar, and the herrings would come up by the side of the boat and they'd sing, they'd join in like a herring chorus. It's a delight to be here now, of course, 
I'm uh, I'm fully Latvian, so wait, go. So just in love with each other and having a great time. I've taken a bit of flack, of course, since I uh, I left Sweden. I wanted to be with Christina so bad to you that. It was the only thing I could do, and I'm so proud of myself. I'm still proud of Sweden, even though I know I could never go back there. I hope that one day you can be in, as in love as I am lucky enough to be. Well, it is nice to know that something good came out of 2020. There's baking, uh, sourdough bread, there's increased hand hygiene, and there's Latvian romance. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, we also have a, a great number of acts who are coming to us for the first time this year, which is very exciting uh, for us to see a few for the first time here on Alternative Eurovision. Let's have a look at some of those. Uh, representing Australia, we have ADBC. Uh, they've been around the block a few times. The most arrested uh, group in rock and roll, they say. Perhaps the most established act taking part. Although Iceland's Todd Ergren also brings some experience with him, having performed for over three decades. Uh, Marty and Marta are performing for Austria. Uh, they're a brother and sister double act, and they're big stars in their own home, appearing at local festivals uh, since they were just three years old. Uh, from Greece, we have Hercules Vigoros. Uh, now, interesting fact here, Hercules uh, is a good friend of Marco of Montenegro. Uh, they're old friends having met whilst performing in a drag act on the SS Drama Queen, uh, home to all of those famous all-star cruisers. Uh, it's always great, Pippa, isn't it, to see that friendship can survive competition. Yes, it absolutely is. But that's not the end of our new performers this year. We've got Melody bringing her serious activist vibe to represent Cyprus. Uh, Aoife O'Sullivan will represent Ireland. And of course, a new star will be taking Sweden's mantle from Hay. It's Christian Ulska, whose song, I, I believe, is called Svek, which translates to betrayal. Not sure if that's uh, pointed at anyone in particular, but we shall see. And finally, after Rammstein's sensational win last year for Germany, she is back with a new song for us uh, for the Interval Act. Um, this year, Germany is represented by Heimlich Maneuver, who we all know and love for his YouTube channel, Pranks. He loves to prank, and maybe you're not familiar with him, so let's check out that channel. Yeah, um, hello, my name is Heimlich Minerva. I'm from Germany, representing Germany. Yeah, so I am a joker. That's what everyone says about me. Prankster, Heimlich's a prankster. Prank! Ooh. Funny. It's just like Jeremy Beadle has come back in the form of a Germo, German techno star. Prank! But I don't know, I don't know, Andy. Can, can, we have, can we have two German winners? Can there be a succession of German winners? Well, I mean, I, I guess it's possible, but uh, I don't know what the, uh, what the odds would be on that, having two German wins two years in a row. I, I don't think I have a good enough grasp of statistics, Pippa, to be able to work that out. Well, Andrew, that is lucky that we have in the studio with us, in the data room, none other than Eurovision statistician Tony Cordial. Hi there. And yes, indeed, there have indeed been many multiple winners. Uh, Ireland lead the table with seven victories, which include three consecutive ones. They're followed in second place by Sweden, with six, and then there's a bunch finished by the UK, France, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands on five. The UK have finished second a whopping 15 times. Now, bear in mind, in the first 20 years of the Eurovision Song Contest, in UK finished in the top four all of those years, except for twice. Whereas in the last 21 years, the UK has finished only in the top 10 twice. Well, well, not surprising that we are sometimes a little bit unpopular, but uh, never mind. Uh, what do you think about the pranks? What do you think about Heimlich's pranks? I'm worried that they're not really in keeping with the Eurovision Song Contest. Well, Heimlich's very funny, and of course I'm looking forward to more of his pranks. They're very amusing. 
And of course, pranks are very Eurovision. You might remember back in 2016, Hans Elmerlo, the winner for 2015 with uh, Heroes, uh, dressed himself up as a taxi driver. Hilarious. And in 1978, Jordan refused to show the Israel song. And then when Israel won, they said it was Belgium. So, pranks are indeed very Eurovision, and of course, the presenters over the years have filled our screens with wonderful antics, like falling off the stage, dropping the trophy, fainting, and losing all their clothes. And I wondered if uh, you and Andrew were doing anything like that? Uh, no. But anyway, oh, thank you, Tony, that was wonderful to hear, but I have to uh, say that the contestants are ready to go. It's time for us to hear some of our first performances. Um, just a little warning, there are some flashing lights used in some of the performances, particularly Australia's, so just a warning for you there. Uh, but let us know how you're enjoying the show using the hashtag Showstopper Eurovision. But now it's time to hand over to our commentators, Marcus Brigstock and Rachel Parry. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It is us, Rachel Paris. And Marcus Brigstock. Well, we've got a wonderful lineup of music for you tonight. And we begin, don't we, with Austria. Austria. We have Marta and her brother Marty, childhood stars who have a tendency to sing the same song. Yeah, Marta and Marty. Not hugely imaginative parents, but there we are. Same song. Let's hope they've updated it a little bit. And let's hope that cup's compostable. Yeah, it's like Julie Andrews has been to Marks and Spencers. But here we are with Austria, and this is... Yo-Yo Delling. Hey, Marty. Hey, Marta. In the springtime of our childhood, hand in hand we toured home. On the claim and copful mountains where our family made our home. Till one of us would stop and say, I'll listen if you please. And we'd hear the mountain voices singing softly on the breeze. Your lay or the loo. Your lay or the loo. Your lay or the lay or the loo. Let's fix yeah. this up, yeah? Come on! Yo yo de ling! Yo yo de ling! Yeah, yo yo de ling! Yo 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 de ling! Once you started yodeling, it's tricky to resist So we took it and we shook it with a funky modern twist But now the yodeling police are coming to arrest you Should they keep on yodeling? You bet your mind is resting Now everybody knows us when he hears this funky sound A yodeling Yo-yo It's getting famous all around But when we're walking down the street, we hear the people saying Oh, oh no, no, but we are yodeling just like a mother flipping yo-yo Oh! yo yodeling yo yo Yodeling. Yo, 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 yodeling. Yo, yo, in a slow mo. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, yo, with some snow, no? Yo, yo, on a pogo. Yo, yo, in a no go. Yo, yo, with some pro, yo. Yo, 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 yodeling. Yo, yo, Well done, Austria. A wonderful start. And you can vote for Austria now via showstopperthemusical.com. And now, bizarrely, uh, our Antipodean friends, not strictly European. In fact, Australia, not European at all. Not European at all, Mark. Well, these guys um, have been kicking around the block for a while, haven't they? They really have many, many decades. This is Australia. Drugs and rock and roll isn't enough to fill that hole. Get no answers from alcohol. All I need to live is holy mackerel. Ash is a fall, sardines are too small. Smoked salmon sandwiches make my stomach crawl. Candy and football ain't nothing else at all. So when I want some oily fish, it's holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, holy mackerel. It's so god I'm healthy, that is supernatural It's a miracle, truly biblical You wanna feed 5,000, then it 
Tony Mackerel. Omega 3, vitamin D, B12 and B3, AK and E, selenium and niacin, fire and unite. Holy mackerel, holy mackerel, it's so god I'm healthy that it's supernatural. Mojo takes a fall, eat a Mackey roll, my food is full of sushi and it's holy mackerel. Well, I'll never look at a tin of pilchards the same way, Marcus. And I didn't look at it fondly before. So vote for Australia if you're a fan. Of Australia rather than uh, of, pilchards. of pilchards. I like them in tomato sauce. Finally, in this section, it's the ever unpopular Hakan of Turkey. Yes, absolutely. Uh, why Hakan has been allowed to return this year after such a disastrous 2020, I don't know. But then, I suppose, to be fair, no one had a great 2020. Jeff Bezos absolutely nailed it, to yeah. be honest. Yes, and we'll give Hakan the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Let's hope Turkey isn't going to produce another turkey. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, that's absolutely tremendous wordplay. <laughs> Cause if you seek me in the soup, you'll find I've nothing to hide But the lonely desert lion, I have got no pride My favorite t-shirt decoration, die I like, it's tie Who can do it? Die Stock and meat. Hot can stew it. Broke your favorite seat. Hot can glue it. The hair all over your feet. Hot can grow it. They can, we can, he can, she can, you can, too can. I can do it. Who can do it? Who put the bus in bus for us? Yo, yo, yo. Who can do it? Who is top of the hit that parade? They can, we can, he can, she can, you can. I can do it. Well, what a wind instrument that was. What was he blowing there, Marcus? I don't know, but one thing was clear. He, he managed to fit a huge amount of it inside his mouth. He really did. I hope that people will bear that in mind when they're voting. Do vote for Turkey via the Showstopper website, but for now, back to the studio. Wow, uh, Hakan really did fit a lot of that pipe into his mouth. Quite impressive stuff. Wow, what a start! Jodling, uh, mackerel, Hakan do it. I thought that was great, but what do I know? Luckily, we have, as we mentioned before, our resident statistician in the studio with us. So uh, I think it's time to pass over to Tony Cordial. Tony, uh, any thoughts? Well, I thought we were off to a very good start there. Austria with costumes and props and yodeling, which we haven't seen since Romania in 2018 with Yodel It. And Australia bringing the rock made popular since Lordy won for Finland in 2006. Turkey, hack and do it. Well, we'll see. Turkey have got form. They have won once before in 2003. Well, well, we'll find out whether Hakan can do it. And also, we're going to find out soon what our first celebrity judge thought of those performances. But let me tell you, this year we have access to the green rooms. We can go where all of the acts are meeting virtually so they can give each other moral support. So why don't we uh, go over to that Zoom room now? My God, I love your song just so much, Heimlich. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Rama. It is inspired totally from, from your winning song last year, your techno groove. Thank you so much. It's good to be a winner. I know you're going to be a winner too. Yes, yes, this is all I want. And, and guess what, Rama? What? 
I have been pranking Greece, uh, Hercules, and, and Montenegro, Marco. I've been pranking them by saying I am in love with them. Oh my God, that is so crazy and super cool. Yeah. They're going to give you all the points. All of the points for me because they love me, but it's a prank. Oh my God, you are nuts, you know? It's nuts because you know you say you love them, but I know you love someone else. I only have the eyes for you, my sweet. I love you so much. I'm so glad you're going to take the crown for me and for the techno. It's going to be oh, yeah. so amazing. And I just, I want to, like, you're so super sexy. I just want to lick you, Heimlich. Yeah, I want to. Is that even for real, though? I mean, sorry, I, I, sorry, I, I think we <laughs> saw some stuff that we, were, we shouldn't have really seen. It was a bit of a surprise. Um, but they, they are aware that we can uh, see whatever they're saying. Well, yeah, really. Wow, Rammstein and Heimlich Maneuver. It seems like they want to have techno babies. I mean, what have you got to say about that, Tony? Well, I'm thinking of that really awkward 11-second kiss by the Danish duo in 1957. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm hearing that Roussel Carnet, uh, the first of our celebrity judges this evening, uh, is ready to give his feedback on those first entries. Uh, so let's go to Roussel now. Hi, guys. Roussel Carnet here. Um, well, I'd rather be there at the live show, obviously, um, it's been a year, I should be there choreographing yodels, not just talking about them, but it is what it is and what a fantastic show we've had anyway. Um, I mean, just to start with this Austrian entry, wow, 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 guys. The use of the yodeling, but for me, obviously, I'm going to come at it from a place of movement and choreography and spirit. Uh, to see the propulsive use of the body in line with the yodeling and the genre twist into hip hop and then back into that traditional folk music. That for me was a melange, a mix up that really pushed this song to the next level. We want hip hop to speak to yodeling. A lot of people have been saying it for years and now we've got fat beats and fat yodels at the same time. So it's a positive review from me, Roussel Carnet for Austria. Thanks for letting me see the song guys. Wow, wow, wow. Honestly, take my didgeridoo, moisten it, and blow through its blowhole until it expires, because that, you don't expect the Australians to drop rock. Normally we would get a cheesy uh, ballad, but bang, the rock drops, and it can't have escaped Australia's notice what's been happening here in the United Kingdom this year with the debate around fisheries, around Jersey. Uh, we, of course, we had that short war with France in the summer. And to hear uh, mackerel satirised, but with that rock riff and the movement, this body twist, almost like a fin, the dorsal fin of a mackerel. It, and he didn't just pick, he could have picked a perch or a place, but he picked an oily fish. And that to me says a lot about politics, about the environment we live in. So for me, holy mackerel with its rock riffs, with its bold attack, with its satirical take on the fishing situation here in Europe, commented on from afar by the Australians. There's only one word for it, guys. Bonza. Wow. Hack and do it. I mean, for me, this song, it could have done with taking off a bit more during the melodies, but that was more than made up for with the Turkish entry, Hakan, for the way the chorus built. And you'll notice that the way the uh, performer bravely put his mouth around the shaft of the instrument. So for me, it was a comment on um, Mediterranean masculinity. But at the end of it, I felt empowered. I think a lot of people watching this in the year we've had in the way we've been locked down will be thinking, ha can do it. Ha can do it too. And that's how I felt at the end. So for me, definitely would have liked to have seen a bit more action during the melodies, but the chorus and the message was there. Well done, Turkey. Uh, Roussel Carnet, another thrilled little choreography you've got here. Thanks, guys. See you again soon. Wow, a fabulous response there from our first celebrity judge, Roussel Carnet, the astounding choreographer. And I think, I think he's right. I really do believe the people at home are now believing I can do it. Uh, but it's not just the judges' opinions we want. We want your opinions. So we're just looking at the social media, the hashtag uh, Showstopper Eurovision, and also the chat on the YouTube. And can I tell you, Andrew, already, uh, people have been commenting on our snazzy, and I quote that word, snazzy outfits. <laughs> awesome. I, I've long dreamed to be 
the snazzy Pippa? Long yes. dreamed. I've always been snazzy. <laughs> I'm like a pair of jazz shoes. Uh, some, uh, a couple of other people have commented on the fact that um, the guitarist in uh, the Australian entry looks <laughs> rather a lot like Hakan in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> that guitarist is clearly a nun. Hakan is not a nun. <laughs> I'm not sure they look alike at all. I think people are getting confused. They're over-enthusiastic about this evening's performance and they're seeing what they want to see. We can categorically state that those are not the same <laughs> person. Uh, I, I just want to uh, do a little shout-out as well to uh, Anthony B. Earls, uh, who's uh, watching Showstopper Eurovision at home with his friends. Hello, Anthony and pals. We're glad you're with us. Uh, and Kat at Manchester Red says, I never realised until now how much I needed hip-hop yodelling. <laughs> in my life. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are feeling that way because we are now feeling uplifted. Just, just three entries and we're already feeling like we can take on the world again. Uh, or at least we're probably ready to hear a few more entries to this year's alternative Eurovision Song Contest, all in aid of the Care Workers Charity. Um, so uh, let's watch the next entries. Another warning, there are some flashing lights, if you can believe it, from uh, Germany's entry, the techno classic. Uh, but let's hand over to Marcus and Rachel. <laughs> Well, here we are again, uh, some more alternative Eurovision offerings, and we're back, this time in the Rhineland, represented by Heimlich Manoeuvre. Fan of pranks and frankfurters. Of course. He sings like an angel. <laughs> Angela, Angela Merkel. Merkel. <laughs> <laughs> Great mind. We, um, we prepped that earlier. We did. We quite, practiced. Quite pleased. Sings lot. like an angel. Yep. Angela, Angela Merkel. Merkel. It's really actually pronounced Very Angela. Funny. But um, let's see if Germany can go for the win two years in a row. Gentle, do you miss me? If I whisper, will you hear? Oh, my sweetheart, are you like me? Is it the silence that you feel? Huh? My lonely heart is yearning for what I do not know. My red hot loins are burning. So let's get on with the show! My love is loud like the wind and the rain My love is mad like a horrid back pain My love is cruel like a rusty pipe My love is smooth like the AB blood type The volumes of love! Yeah, yeah, that's right! Understand me, love, but soft, I've said too much. I know I don't need words for you to hear me. Our hearts silently touch. Ich bin ein sexy beast. I'm a sexy beast. Du bist ein sexy beast. You're a sexy beast. Unsere Liebe braucht keine Worte. Our love doesn't need words. Aber wenn sie Worte braucht. But just in case it does. My love is loud like the wind and the rain. My love is bad like horrid back pain. My love is cruel like a plastic pipe. My love is smooth like the AB blood type. The volumes of love. Yeah, yeah. That's right. the love. That reminded me of Firestarter. Firestarter. What would Firestarter be in, in German, Rachel? Das Feuerstarter? I think you have to put the verb first. Das Starter of Feuers? To vote for Germany, go to the Showstopper website. But for now, let's go to the Czech Republic. Yes. Where Jana Novakovakova is waiting to sing for us. She is indeed. Last year, she distressed us. Upset a lot of people with her very political offering. But let's see what she's bringing us this year with her non-political happy fun time song. One year ago tonight, I sang a song, but the judges were critical. Apparently my pledge to save the penguins was deemed too political. I learned that night that if I wanted to get my message through, it would have to be accompanied by a proper banging tune. 
We could be lovers, we could be strangers Calling the heroes, the city's in danger Take me to Vegas, show me the highway Just call me Sinatra, cause I do it my way This is the future, and it could be perfect And it could be worth it But nobody else on the planet deserves it But you, you could do anything When you fly on the wings of a penguin When you fly on the wings of a penguin Come on Europe, sing with me When you fly on the wings of a penguin Come on, do it for the penguins When you fly on the wings of a penguin When you fly on the wings of a penguin When you fly on the wings of a penguin When you fly on the wings of the penguin Well, strong support for the penguin there. And strong support from the penguin as well. Absolutely. Uh, you can vote via the website, but now we go to Ireland. Where Aoife O'Sullivan will be singing for us. Aoife says she is as Irish as an Irish person can be, which is pretty Irish, giggle, giggle. Yes, I've never actually seen anyone type giggle, giggle into their press release, but Neither that's, have I. that's what she's done. And it must be an Irish thing. When walking on a fine misty morn Among the Emerald Isle The land where I was surely born I'm but a maiden Not afraid to speak my truth And the truth is I'm Irish through and through Coming out of my shell goodness she was Irish. She really was. She was a pint of Guinness dressed as a leprechaun <laughs> asleep on the Blarney Stone. And now an eye for an eye we go to Iceland. Todd Ugren uh, represents with Scandemic meatloaf lookalike. Uh, not surprising they uh, are in fact cousins. Are they really? They don't speak meatloaf and Todd Ugren because... Uh, Todd hasn't seen him since 1976. No well he's a strict vegetarian. Absolutely. So the, the, the very thought of Meatloaf, very offensive to him. But here he is, Todd Ogren with Scandemic. Hiding in the shadows with angels' wings uh, Lusting for the judgment bell to ring uh, Watching loops of porn Until I fly and am reborn When I am striking 
with a large crowd Drawing up an unbound Final vein and quite proud Rip their stupid mask off Immunity can piss off In my face is wet cough Dripping, dripping, dripping Covid's metamorphosis Death's head with a French kiss Chaos is my soul's bliss Drink up, drink up Freedom free of meaning and form I'll hide in place Stay inside and mask my face Eat kebabs and live on Zoom Waiting to escape my tomb I can't taste my skull. Wow. What, Whoa. What, a lot. A lot to take in there. A lot to there. think about. Quite terrifying. To vote for Iceland, I really can't get that out of my head. Go to you've Showstopper. Gone, you've gone puce. Yeah, I feel, I feel it. Uh, showstoppertheMusical.com. And yeah. that's literally burnt into my retina yeah, now. Yeah, it's a lot. It was, it, it was a lot, wasn't it? Register your vote. Uh, uh, back to the studio. Do you need to do a little, little sick? Yeah. Wow, that was something else. Competition is really hotting up now, and I do hope uh, that Todd sanitised that skull after he did that to it. <laughs> now, the competition is hotting up. I think it's a great time now to have a look at the public poll to see your votes. Now, it's still uh, relatively early on in the evening, but some people have marked their card already. And let's see uh, what the votes are looking like. Wow, it looks like a big, very strong lead for Austria's Marty und Marta uh, with Yo Yodeling. Uh, uh, who's coming in second? Ireland, uh, Ifo Sullivan coming in second with four votes, but a, a big, big difference there. A uh, couple of votes there. I know this already for Latvia, even though we haven't heard uh, <laughs> Latvia's entry yet this evening. Some people out there are so taken with either Christine or Christina or Hay or both um, that they're already uh, making a vote. So remember, of course, that you can vote anytime you like through this evening by uh, going to our website, showstopperthemusical.com and following the links there. And we would love you to generously give to the Care Workers Charity, whom we're supporting this evening with this entire event. Uh, and you can vote for whoever you like. And uh, I would say, uh, Pippa, uh, we don't want people, you know, spamming the voting too much. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if someone to, say, find donate. A, yeah, donate. Maybe find another device that you could log in on and you could donate again, you know. So let's just be... Um um, let's improvise our way through the voting system. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so you can vote now and all the way through the performance. Now, given it's been hotting up on stage, I imagine that uh, things are hotting up backstage as well. So let's go over to our virtual green room. I mean, I feel so conflicted because, you know, I'm, I'm Swedish and yet I'm married for love. And that's enough to make me, you know, Latvian now. And, you know, that's why I carry this jar of pickled herrings around with me to remind me of my roots. But yet it's a real conflict. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what, hey? I totally know what you mean. Because, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not really Irish. What? We were friends, man. We were friends together. Oh. I still think we can be friends. How on earth can we be friends now? You must change your attitude about the entire situation. Uh, I have to change my attitude? You betrayed me. You were my friend, and you knew how I felt about Heimlich. Heimlich felt the same way about me. Oh, that makes me feel better. You know what? You are, you are, you belong on the poop deck. You're made of poop. That's what I think of you, hmm? Wow, some uh, strong emotions there. Gosh, I, I mean, we were really hoping that uh, Hercules and Marco would get through this competition, but if, if I'm, Andy, I'm not really sure they're gonna be able to make it. And, and what about that confession from Aoife that she's not Irish? Yeah, that stunned me, Pippa, uh, because I'd never seen anyone sounding more <laughs> Irish. She was so Irish. Uh, I really believed her, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a think about that. But I'm also gonna ask Tony, like, do you have to be Irish to represent Ireland? 
Well, there are no rules on this. It's entirely up to each nation to decide who represents them. Back in 1963, Luxembourg got the Greek singer Nana Muscuri to sing for them. And in 1988, Celine Dion from Canada represented Switzerland. So it's common practice. We've had a number of Australians sing for the UK. In 1974, Olivia Newton-John. In 96, it was Gina G with Ooh Ah, just a little bit, cracking tune that finished eighth. And, of course, when we won the contest in 97 with Love, Shine a Light, it was Contrita in the Waves who were singing it, and uh, they're American. So it's standard practice. And for Aoife, she may be English, but in the past, Ireland has been represented by a puppet, Dustin the Turkey, in 2008, and Jedward, uh, twice. Of course, everybody loves the Irish, and they're everywhere. If we take a look at this graphic, we can see the extent to which Irish performers have featured, and they've been featured as backing singers, as soloists even. Uh, Irene Scheer represented Luxembourg, and then Germany, and then Luxembourg again. Uh, dancers, river dance, of course. And in 95, the Norway winning song, Nocturne, featured an Irish fiddle player and a song that sounded exactly like Enya. And, of course, in 2009, the Danish song was written by Ronan Keating. Uh, thank you, Tony. Very interesting indeed. Oh, we're getting word uh, that our next judge uh, is ready to give their verdict on the acts. Uh, so let's go over now to Les Dennis. Hello, Alternative Eurovision. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this fantastic, iconic show. Germany. Wow, what can I say? Heimlich, that was a fantastic performance. I thought at first you were going to give us an Andrew Lloyd Webber kind of ballad, but suddenly, right out of the blue, you went totally Gangnam style. I loved it. Great, great, catchy song, lots of fun, real, real enthusiasm, and oh, you managed to get your name into the song twice. Heimlich Manoeuvre! Well, you're great. Congratulations. I hope you do well, you sexy beast. Heimlich Manuba! Czech Republic. Well, first of all, well done for managing to take on board what the critics said last year. And this time, it wasn't so political as a protest song. It was so well done. And I think the fact that you had your lovely placard holding penguin there with you really sold the song well. The, uh, the chorus was catchy, really beautifully catchy, if a little repetitious. How many times can you talk about sliding down the wings of a penguin? But you know what? You made me want to slide down the wings of a penguin. So good luck to you and your placard-holding penguin. Ireland, this was fantastic. My favourite so far beautifully sung, really evocative, and I love the homage to Buck's Fizz. The change from the yellow drab dress to the sparkly silver number was great. And you didn't have much of a set, but then it didn't seem to matter because I believed that I saw the wonderful scenery of Ireland. I saw that willow tree. I believe that I was picking that four-leaf clover. So I hope that this is your lucky charm, that you do well tonight, that you enjoy the crack, and schulte. Is that how you say it? Sh that. Cheers! Iceland. Wow, what a performance. Moving, passionate, deeply felt. What you were singing about, I'm not quite sure, but it was moving, passionate and deeply felt. I felt as if I was watching a musical version of Hamlet with Meatloaf in the title role. <laughs> and your relationship with that skull, deeply felt, certainly that. Well, to win or not to win, that is the question. Let's hope you don't suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. See what I did there? Good luck tonight, Tad. I hope you do well. 
rave reviews there from Les Dennis. Thank you for your judging. But who's going to win? I don't really know. <laughs> What do you think, uh, Andy? Who's, uh, who are you up for? Mm, I, well, I was going to say Ireland. I think mm. Ireland is a very strong uh, trad Euro pop single, but with that confession, mm. uh, I, and I, I don't know whether whether that's going to play into people's uh, minds a bit. No, yeah, no, I totally understand. Difficult, difficult decision to be made. And what about you, Tony? Have you got a favourite so far? I'm going to go for the Czech Republic because I love a rock hopper. Yes, great, great penguin gag there, everybody at home. Look it up, Google it if you need to. Um, personally, my money's on Todd, um, mainly because I can't get the image of that uh, skull dance. <laughs> Should we call it a dance? It's a family show. Uh, yeah, let's, let's call it that. <laughs> a little bit of skull choreography. <laughs> a bit of skull choreography there from Todd. Now let's just have a look and see what people are saying on the socials. I mean, a lot of love for Heimlich. I'm going to give you that. Uh, Aidan, uh, 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 it's so funny reading people's names, isn't it, on Twitter, because they're often <laughs> not really names. Aidan forgets why he... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was about to say, like, Aiden is a perfectly normal name, Pipple. Why are you, why are you making fun of Aiden? I see. You're right. Maybe it's a triple barrel. I don't yeah. know. Uh, he says, how is Heimlich Manoeuvre not leading? Uh, which is, you know, well, well, you know how to do that. You can get your votes in. Get your votes in now. Uh, Morag Fraser says, Prague has fallen to vengeful penguins. Why did nobody listen? Uh, so big, big cheers there for uh, the wonderful song there from the Czech Republic. Um, also, so uh, a very nice point here from Dirkus17 on the YouTube chat. Eurovision is inclusive. You don't need to be Irish to be Irish. IFA is European. As someone once said, it's not easy being green. So uh, lots of chat there. You can chat to us too using the hashtag showstopper uh, Eurovision and we would love to hear what you uh what you're thinking, what you're doing, what you're enjoying, uh, maybe what you're not enjoying. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Let's include it all. It's been that kind of year. Uh, but now it is, I mean, we're pretty much at the interval, aren't we, Andy? Um, so traditional to the Eurovision Song Contest is an interval performance. And of course, we couldn't, we couldn't do anything but invite Ramstein, last year's sensational winner, back to flog her new single uh, with her brand new song, Social this dance. Welcome, Rama Stein. It's the world's biggest after party. So come and worship at the altar of rave. Everybody, it is time to begin. No matter where you are, from London to Berlin. Techno's been a no-no, except a kitchen disco. So grab your sticks that glow, glow, and to the club we go, go. You don't have to be a VIP. Everybody's welcome to move with me. Let's move our bodies under the UV And remember the feeling of ecstasy One step forward, two steps back The space on the dance floor and the nightclub's coming back Drum and bass, all oh, house, all oh, trance Everybody do the social distance We may not have proximity But we can keep the connectivity The distance may be physical, but now you're in Visual. The feeling is reciprocal as we become more rhythmical. It's time to throw some ships as we move our body to the throbbing base. As long as we wash our hands and face. For now we dance but soon we'll grace. One step forward, two steps back. The space on the dance floor and the nightclub's coming back. Hello, my name is Fatou Jara and this is my son. His name is Ali. Say hello. Hi. We're just making this short video to say how, that, to say thank you very much to the Care Workers Charity. We really appreciate the help we have since we moved to this uh, council house. It was all empty. Uh, thanks to you, we have a sofa from the charity shop which we bought and we have floor also which we bought also and another sofa and then uh, we had some money for upkeep and also for bedding we are just very grateful and we just want to say thank you so much to all of you we really appreciate
Thank you. I Bye. have the best day to real life. Bye. Thank you very much. I'm Fatu Jara and this is my son Ali. Bye. One example there of the amazing work that the Care Workers Charity does. And that's work that you'll be supporting if you donate when you vote. Now, there's no limit on the amount you can donate tonight. So do, if it's in your means, do please get clicking and give as generously as you can. In fact, now's probably a good time to see how much we have raised so far this evening. It looks like we've raised £443.42. Thank you so much to everyone who has given so far. Uh, and if you haven't donated yet, it'd be great to see if you can click on that link when you vote and give some money to the amazing work the Care Workers Charity does. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for your donations. And now, as a reward, we shall give you more entries to the Showstopper Alternative Eurovision Song Contest. So let's hand over to Marcus and Rachel. We travel to Russia now. I said, I don't think you should do the voice, Marcus. I think that's going to offend some people. Well. <laughs> we travel over to Russia now. That one was fine. It, somehow when you do it, it's, 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 it's less offensive. Uh, but uh, um, Here's Archangel from Russia returning from last year. Yes, a very obscure character who uh, enjoys watching clouds and wearing highly reflective sunglasses. So Russian. Yes, as Russian as you can get. Here he is, Archangel. It's because I'm happy. Happy, 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 happy. When time's going by, what does it mean to be happy? It means you're content with what you've got, and you're fine with just letting time go by. I'm just standing here with the clouds passing by. If you sincerely, I'm just standing here with the time going by. It's because I'm happy when I'm going by. What does it mean to be happy? What does it mean to be happy? Hey. What does it mean? It means you're content with the work you got and you're fine with just letting the time go by. That was like sitting down to tea with Vladimir Putin, mm. both of you naked from the waist up, <laughs> astride a horse, a freshly punched tiger under each arm. Mm, I've had many dreams like that. Yeah. Do please go to Showstopper the Musical to vote. But now we travel from snowy Russia all the way to, to sunny, sunny Cyprus. Cyprus. Represented by eco-warrior Melody, she wants you to know that she cares more about the planet than you. Here she is with The World is Broken. broken that's what they say we're living on a planet that is dying refuse to make a change because our lives will rearrange and we really like airplane flying how do you sleep at night
try and change it with your eco clothes. Dressed in hemp and oxfam with a ring through your nose. Recycle all those straws, <laughs> it won't make you see. Unless we change the planet systemically. How do you sleep at night? Goodness me, the world is broken and so Ooh. is my heart. Uh. See if I can perk you up, Rachel, mm -hmm. with this little story. Hedge and Christina married after falling in love during last year's competition. Oh. Yes, Hedge left his native Sweden and moved to Latvia, which um, I have to say does look remarkably like South End. And here they are with fish and chips, presumably trying to win over the UK judges. <laughs> we'll Good see. luck with that. Let's see if they manage it. Latvia. Fish and chips. One, two, three. A moment on my lips, a lot of time on my hips. Yeah, baby, I'm like fish and chips. Like wet newspaper through the all our bricks. Yeah, baby, I'm like fish and chips. I follow my heart. And with no doubt, I knew my head would. We're never apart. You're my queen scallop. You're my king Edward. You got me and I got such a feeling Like jelly deal, my love's congealing You pull back my layers Forget all those players You answered my prayers A moment on my lips A lifetime on my hips You gave me all my fish and chips Like wet newspaper Threw me all my grips You gave me all my fish and chips Scraps when we just can't agree. Is your heart open or wrapped? Is it curry sauce? Or the mushy pea? We put each other first for better or best. We'll always be together. I'm your son. I'm your vinegar. Okay, you're Come on, everybody. A moment of my lips. Vote for Latvia, if you will. Uh, now, i got to tell you, I'm very excited about this next entry, and I know you are too. I certainly am, Marcus. Uh, this is Marco Felatio, who you might remember from last year, is using a brilliant new technology for his mm. performance that actually listens to his lyrics mm -hmm. and automatically brings up corresponding images on a screen behind him. Corresponding images based on the lyrics. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I can't even imagine. Well, um, uh... That's him talking to his pal Hercules. Yes, then. Greece's representative. Here he is. Is Pirate, Pirate of, of Love. Love. Come on, everybody! Woo! You're so beautiful! A tropic island breeze. I sail the seven seas. Looking for you, baby. Captain of my sheep. Weep all night, weep, weep, weeping for you, baby. I'm a pirate of love, a pirate of love Nothing gonna keep us apart I'm gonna steal your heart You tie me up in knots X marks the spot I'm digging for you, baby I'm your cannon, you're my cannonball No one gonna love you like I will Cause I'm the biggest pirate of all I'm one big pirate, baby Pirate of love A pirate of love 
nothing gonna keep us apart. I'm gonna steal your hat. On our island, join hands while you lie in sand. You're my China doll, and when the waters roll, I set sail for China. No, not that one, not that one, please. A pirate I love, a pirate. Look how I'm dressed. Nothing gonna keep us apart. I'm gonna steal your heart. I'm gonna steal your heart. I'm gonna steal your heart. Okay. Well, mm, not great. I liked the music. Bad luck with that, Montenegro. Uh, if you want to give them a pity vote, uh, I think you know what to do. But for now, back, back to, to the, the studio. studio. Oh, some pretty harsh words there from Marcus and Rachel about Marco from Montenegro. And actually, on the on the YouTube feed, quite a few people being sympathetic to the IT debacle. That was that number. But, you know, brave try. Something new, something fresh that he brought to the show. But and it made for some interesting content, didn't it? I mean, there have not been songs about walnut whips or tea spouts before or parrots in nappies. <laughs> I mean, totally. Uh, you know, what kind of uh, topics do Eurovision songs normally cover? That's a fascinating question, Pippa. I thought so. There's a research paper written by John Bennett and Simon Troop about music and lyrics of Eurovision in the last 10 years, and it makes compelling reading. It's broken down the song types into six. They are Europop, Ethnopop, Anthem, Ballad, Chanson, that's kind of like a soft ballad, and Schläger, that's a happy party song. And they've also broken down the song themes into six basic areas. They are love, unity, self-assertion, history, music, and partying. And partying, of course, includes food and drink. And if we look at this pie chart, uh, we can see the extent to which that is dominated by uh, baked goods and alcohol. Baked goods, of course, feature in songs like Belarus's Cheesecake and Latvia's Cake to Bake, uh, Portugal's Chocolate and Vanilla Cake, and, of course, the Russian grannies of 2012, who actually baked cookies on stage and handed them out to the audience. But it's clear that booze takes the biscuit, so to speak, with songs like Malta's Vodka from 2008 and uh, the Greek <coughs> Alcohol is Three from 2012, and, of course, Moldovia's Alcohol You and Latvia's My Wine. So all we can say is it's bottoms up. Now, uh, we can see that Rama Steens uh, has been rising and rising over the past year since her Eurovision, alternative Eurovision win last year. But the same can't be said for all of the contestants on the alternative Eurovision Song Contest. You may remember Bim, Portugal's entry from last year. Now, Bim is a puppet but a puppet who's had a very difficult year. And uh, we want to explore his story now so that it might act as a bit of a warning uh, for all other Eurovision acts and maybe help them avoid the same fate. Now, the following short film was created by his longtime collaborator, Bo. Here it is. Let me tell you, Eurovision fame can be hard. Take my good friend, Bin. My puppet co-star from last year. Suddenly, the whole world knows your name. You start winning awards. You get attention. Bim was doing commercials and endorsements. And then he was doing movies. It was great. But to keep up his image and the success, he started doing his own crazy stunts. And then, to cope with the pressure, he started to hit the fabric softener. After that came the tumble dryer. And then the work dried up. He was homeless, living rough. That was when we found him. But, as we say in Portugal, sem musica, uma fantoche e só uma luva. Without music, a puppet is just a glove. And it was the music of Eurovision 
that brought BIM back to us. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, BIM. Very powerful piece of film there about the, um, the learnings and the trappings of fame. Um, we've all been there and we wish you the best. We've all hit the Lenore once before. Um, so uh, let's wipe our tears away and find out what the judges had to say about those last few entries. Hi, London Hughes here. I just want to say I am so excited to be back again for another alternative Eurovision Song Contest. I mean, the talent was high last year. You blew me away, but I'm sure you guys can all do it again. And remember, you're all winners. Apart from the losers, the losers are losers. Let's do this! Go Alternative Eurovision! Woohoo! Imagine I have little flags. Yay! <laughs> okay, Russia. Not a huge fan of the country, but a big fan of that song. Well done, Russia. Very catchy song, very relatable. It's what we were all going through in the global pandemic. My only problem is, Russia, is you focus too much on the strength of the song. You didn't think about the video. It was mainly you just staring at the screen with sunglasses on. I mean, come on, Russia, you can do better than that. Well, you've done a lot worse. You've done, way, you've done way more worse things than that video. But Russia, you can do better. Shame on you, Russia. Shame on you. Cyprus, wow, you had it all. Great message, great performance, great video, insane vocals. Cyprus, you really, really impressed me. And the hairdryer, Perfect touch. I mean, it gave me Evanescence, but it was also giving me Kelly Clarkson. And I loved it. If I could choose a winner, Cyprus, you would be my winner. Congratulations, you should be so, so proud of yourself. You did a great job tonight. Well done. <laughs> Latvia, fish and chips. Um, great song, catchy, relatable. You could be the fish to my chips. It's, it's great, it's, it's, it's great. Um, uh, my only problem is uh, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit jealous because uh, Hedge, aka Mr. Loverboy, I um, I actually gave you my number last year um, through the show, through through this. I I I, uh, I don't know if you remember. I actually gave you my my full number. Uh, you didn't call, you didn't call, and I can see why because you have you found someone else and you are now singing with her, uh, and that's great. I'm 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 happy for you both. I uh, I just uh, you know I just thought I could. We could be like fish and chips, you know? I could be a fish and chips. You could be my battered sausage. But that, that will never happen. Uh, and, you know, I'm not going to let my jealousy get in the way of a jaunty tune. So I do want to say congratulations. The song was amazing. And uh, I hope you and your singing partner or, you know, life partner or whatever uh, is, are happy together. Because you look cute. Congratulations, Latvia. Well done. <laughs> Montenegro! Well done. Great song. Very, very funny video. Some would even say genius. And that is where your problem lies, Montenegro, is because the video was too good. It took away from the song. I was just watching for the little things that was happening behind your face and all the parrots. I wasn't concentrating on the lyrics. I was concentrating on them getting the lyrics wrong for you. So like there was layers to it, it was genius, but if take away the video, the song was pretty basic. And in this rare ex exception, the, the video was better than the song. And so for me, Montenegro, that's where you shot yourself in the foot, but you're a genius, so that helps. And it was very, very funny, and you should be very proud of yourself. And parrots are cool. Pirates aren't, parrots are. Well done. <laughs> Wow, and London obviously still holding a candle there for Hay. Uh, though it has to be said, perhaps uh, he didn't ring her because she keeps calling him Hedge. Uh, though, to be fair, his hair does look like a hedge, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Uh, now, with three entries left uh, in this evening's competition, I think it's time to check in again on the public poll. So let's see who is winning it. Oh, wow. wow. It looks like Austria's Marty und Marta. Sorry, I said that the wrong way around. Marta <laughs> und Marty, very different. Uh, they're still uh, having a commanding lead there. Uh, 42 votes uh, coming in a close second. Uh, Latvia's Hay and Christina Janssens. And then it looks like a Czech Republic, 
followed by Ireland, followed by Montenegro, and some votes for everybody else in there along the way. So, uh, a clear favourite so far, Pippa. Yeah, well, though it's doing it's really amazing, and we want you to keep voting, keep voting, vote for your favourite now. Take a bet, you know, don't wait to see them all. Vote now and regret <laughs> later. That's what they say. Uh, and a, I, I want to see as much voting as there is action on the social media because we're getting lots and lots of messages using the hashtag Showstopper Eurovision. Uh, some of the ones that have caught my eye, uh, Graham the Eurovision Bear, he <laughs> says, oh no, poor Bim, thank goodness he's all right. And I think well, a lot of us are, are feeling that. I definitely saw a lot of that also on the YouTube chatter. Ginny Lyon says, great set, great dance moves, great glitter. To hey, 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 all the way. So we're getting a lot of love there uh, for Latvia. Uh, Michael John says on Twitter, ooh, Montenegro got all the budget for staging. <laughs> which I thought was rather amusing. But you'll like this one the most, I think, Andrew. Ooh. Ryan Murphy on the YouTube said, uh, Andy's shirt looks like all of the outfits from Hairspray in one <laughs> costume. <laughs> that, that is the sentence I've waited my whole life to hear, Ryan Murphy. Thank you very much. I thought so. Mm. Well... Well, uh, it, can it be true, Pippa? But it looks like the, the final three entries are, are upon us. Uh, so let's go over back to Rachel and Marcus. Well, here we go with the final selection of offerings for oh, this year's... say it isn't so. <laughs> I'm afraid so. For this year's alternative Eurovision Song Contest from the Showstoppers, what is going to be pulled out of the bag? Well, the first thing I'm tugging out of my sack, Lovely. Rachel, is, uh, is Hercules from Greece. Um, there he is, a, another man playing in the trees. There um, he is. Yeah, with Marco, actually. Um, Quite a slightly touchy subject. Not that they can touch through Zoom. No, not allowed. Not possible. Social distancing. <laughs> Greece. I met you on my name day. It was beautiful, they'd say I'll meet a fair Came down like Dionysus Turned my head all of a sudden you were there Stole my heart but I liked it I'd stay forever there a captive in your care But you'll see, you can't take my pride from me Sun sailed across the sea. You and I are the only ones who know what we could be. Soon as things they got serious, ring moves from left to right hand. Found myself so delirious. And it was all as you planned Played me like a toy Et ahi a joy Try hard but you'll see You can't take my pride from me We flew kites in the Easter sun Sailed across the sea you and I are the only ones who know what we could be. Goodness me, what a voice. What a voice, like honey on yoghurt. The sort of yoghurt and honey that would bring up a very thick, powerful mm. layer of mucus. Hard to wade through. Anyway, if you want to vote for Hercules via the website, you know what to do. And now she's back. Yes. It's Marla. Look at her there, making a lucky man suck spaghetti with her. Lock up your sons. It's Basta to Pasta from Marla. How do you get a man a seductive glance, a sexy dance, 
What gives you the chance for a charming romance? The heart and the stomach are bound. If you know how to cook, it's profound. Get into the kitchen and just look around. For pasta, never say pasta to pasta. Pasta makes loving go faster. It's the way to every man's heart. Pasta, a skill every woman should master. Ensures no romantic disaster. It's the way to every man's heart. But what do you cook? Spaghetti, ravioli, ziti, macaroni, linguini, falde, trofie, bigoli, tripolini, tortole, gomiti, rigatone, penne, passatelle, quadrafiori, cannelloni, farfalle, annelle, stoffapreti, cascatelli, agnalotti, fettuccini, pici, bucatini, stringozzi, conchiglie, riccioli, garganelle, mal tagliate, papardelle, campanelle, tagliatelle! Pasta! Never say pasta to pasta! A skill every woman should master! Way to every man's heart. Pasta from Roma to Antofagasta. Pasta makes loving go faster. It's the way to every. questions about pasta, Rachel? I certainly do, Marcus, and I know who to ask. Yeah. So we come now, after Marla, to our final entry. This is Christiane for Sweden. Now we know Christiane was very upset about Hege moving to Latvia, so let's hope that Christiane has managed to move past this. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure, sure. Christiane's moved past this. Anyway, here is Christiane with Svek. 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 This little ditty goes out to all the betrayers out there. But one in particular, hey. Do you know what we call betrayal here in Sweden? Speck. Two eyes, one nose, one hole where your heart goes. That is the face of a betrayer. That is the face of a betrayer. Two lips, one lie. Now I'm a sad guy Yours is the face of a betrayer You make me sick The sound of betrayal is the sound of a lonely wolf man And I sing Post. That's two is a snack. But you don't read my text. Yeah, oh, that was a snack. I got two blue ticks. Yeah, that was a snack. When you took both my shoes. Yeah, oh, that's a bad snack. Oh, you stopped eating meat. Oh, not a snack. When you got on a plane and flew off so far away and left your home behind. Snack. The sound of betrayal is the sound of a sad little Labrador. Well, I would say Christian hasn't necessarily got over it. No, I think some of that hurt was at least present 
if not dominant. I'd say so as well. But it's nice to know the theme of a song. Yes. And I really enjoyed the howling. Uh, I've got to say, the tension's running high. I'm very glad we're not in the green room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we're really not, though. No. We're really not in the green room. Literally. No one, no one sent us the link. I haven't been sent a link. I was promised a lanyard. Yes, so was I. Uh, maybe the link... Have you checked your spam? Link? Well, I'll check in a minute. Well, fingers crossed we'll be with all the other people in the green room Indeed, tonight. and for the last time this evening, we have to say, well done, everybody, and it's... Back, back to, to the, the studio. studio. Wowzers, what a song to end on. I mean, it was incredible, or as they say in Sweden, det var jättebra. <laughs> Twelve months of lessons. Uh, Christian is just holding on to so much tension. I mean, Hercules, he's obviously filled with emotion too. It's a, it's a soap opera. It's a soap opera tonight. So you get your votes in while we go and see what's happening backstage. You've done this to me for the last time. Oh, Hercules, my sweetheart, you are the only man for me. You, you have to understand that this, this love for other people is just a prank. Is it a prank? You have all of my heart. The whole thing is for you. There is no room for nobody else. You understand, my sweetheart? My little Tootsie Woo? Yeah. Don't listen to the noise. Listen to your love in your heart. Okay, my sweetheart. Okay, I will vote for you. <laughs> your lady. Yale. Marta, Marta. Hey. Do you have a yo-yo trick for a broken heart? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This you one is called... Um, what? You need to show me. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to hang on. Here we go. This one is called Round the Housen. Okay. Oh, okay, wait on the Round the Houses. Wait, because... Heinrich, what is this? My, my baby. How are you? Don't baby me. Don't baby me, Heinrich. Oh, this is okay, baby. What is so what is so wrong? I said don't baby me. What's happened with you on the boat, on the ship, you and Hercules? You have oh, the time oh. together on the poop deck? Uh, no, this is simply misunderstanding. No. Uh, Hercules, he's he's nothing but a prank. He's just a prank. He means nothing to me. Really? You you promise me he's just prank? I promise, Marco, there is only room in my heart for one person, and that person is you, my baby. Oh. Prove it. Okay. You have my vote with all my heart. And you have my vote, too. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I, I think we actually just heard concrete evidence of vote fixing going on. That is very, very shocking indeed. Surely that's not allowed. Tony, isn't the Eurovision voting process sacred and impartial? Uh, Eurovision voting is a law unto itself, Andrew, and it reflects the ever-changing, complex, geopolitical flux and fickle essence of humanity. <laughs> But there are one or two constants. The first is that ever since 74 and ABBA, Sweden have set the DNA for Eurovision. And as a result, they have more votes than any other country in total. And they have won six contests. In fact, in the last 10 years, they have won two. And that's been the most competitive period. And in that same time, they've managed to write 86 other nations' entries. And two of those have won for Azerbaijan in 2011 and the Netherlands in 2019. Here's a graph that shows the extent of the Swedish content in Eurovision. So, for Hay, he's not the first Swede to go Dutch, or in his case, go Latvian. And he certainly won't be the last. And the second Eurovision constant is that, I'm afraid, no one likes the UK. Well, that's not a surprise, is it, Tony? Uh, but I just want to take a moment, Tony, just to let you know that you have got some fans on the YouTube chat. Uh, in fact, uh, Expecto says it's amazing that this research is true. <laughs> and so I just wanted to shout out, Tony Cordial really does know his stuff. This is, this is not a hobby. This is an obsession. No, I, I, I live for the Eurovision. Every year I come out around this time rather like a, a Groundhog Day mammal and expose myself. <laughs> I'm going to have to myself. stop you there, Tony. So sorry. Uh, because we've got the last judge coming through. Uh, with uh, with their comments. It's, uh, let's go over to Legato Chocolat. Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good night. I'm Legato Chocolat. 
coming to you with the scores for Greece. Oh, such fancy footwork, really great diction. No one's going to take my pride away from me. No one can and no one should. What a thrilling performance. To you, sir, I, 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 I award three points. Trois. Embrace that. Be proud. I'm proud of you. Well done, Greece. <laughs> Italy. Basta to pasta. From spaghetti to rigatoni to gnocchi, she was authentic bolognese. I really felt her passion. Ugh, like my grandmother, but not. Wonderful to her. I award eight points. Hui, hui. Thank you, Basta to Pasta Mama, for the delicious culinary delights. Sweden, oh, what can I say? Such glorious alchemic wonders, from the costume to the lighting to the lyrics to the fig tash. I was wrapped and raptured with feck. So many different, um, you know, sort of time signature differences, movement. I was thrilled, impressed. Oh, you did, Sweden. Really, really proud. It takes me back to when um, Celine Dion represented Sweden. Someone else. Anyway, it doesn't matter what Celine Dion did, because you did great with Speck. And so, to you, I award 12 points. That's right, the full gamut. Dues points. Thank you, Legato Chocolat. And now, before we check in uh, with what the acts thought of each other, I think it's time to see how our fundraising efforts are going this evening. After all, that is what we are here for tonight. Uh, so let's have a look. Wow, wow. Actually, so far this evening, we have raised an incredible £1,894.39. Thank you so, so much uh, for giving to the Care Workers Charity. It's such uh, an amazing organisation, and we know they will appreciate your support tonight. I think it's also great, uh, before we see what the acts thought of each other, to check in with the public poll and see who is in winning at the moment. Oh, and I see there has been a turnaround. Wow. Uh, Latvia has caught up. Hey, and Christina Janssen's currently in the lead and looks like Montenegro in second place place, uh, closely followed by the early uh, leader of this evening, Austria, Marty und Marta. Uh, what do you think of that, Pippa? Wow, I mean, it's all to play for, isn't it? We don't, we don't know who's going to win, but it's, we, we thought there would be some support for Latvia, but we weren't sure because of the defection of, of Hay. Uh, but Montenegro, despite the technology problems, has really zoomed up there, and, and I wouldn't be surprised if, if he steals the crown. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think now it is time uh, for the voting. The acts are going to be scoring each other this evening. But, of course, it is the public poll that is going to choose the winner of this evening's uh, prize. Uh, but let's see what the acts thought of each other. It's back over to you, Rachel and Marcus. <laughs> Well, Rachel, if you're ready, I think it's time to have a look at those scores. It certainly is, Marcus. Let's see. Here we go. So, first off, Austria. We're connecting now. Good 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 Uh, Here are the scores from the Austrian judges. We would like to award 12 points to... Sweden! Because loyalty is very important. And we will be giving zero points to... Ireland. For we were not sure how authentic it was, unlike last year's island entry, which was so good. So good. Okay, bye bye. Okay, cheers. Mmm, <laughs> Ireland penalised for inauthenticity there. Mm, but I Sweden half expected that. Oh, here's Australia. We're connecting up now. Non-European. ADBC here for Australia, and we are giving twelve points to ourselves because we are proud Europeans, and we're giving zero points to the Poms because they aren't. Rock on. A smack in the face for the UK there. Yeah, for the Poms. Uh, Australia judging themselves with 12 points. Ah, Turkey, here we go. Hello, how are you doing? We're all having fun here. I have the results of Turkey's poll. We will give nil point 
to Sweden. But 12 points to Latvia. <laughs> OK, over to you. Well, Latvia doing very well out of that. Sweden, nil point, announced in French. And Germany now. Ah, this will be efficient. Yeah, hello from me, Heimlich. Um, I would like to give my points, 12 points, to Latvia. And I would like to give zero points, nil point, as the French would say, but not the Germans, no points to Montenegro and Greece, because they like sharing so much. Auf Wiedersehen. Well, okay. some harsh judgment from Germany yeah. there. Uh, okay, connecting with the Czech Republic. Can you hear us? Hello, Europa. I am Anna Nova Kova Kova, and this is my friend Derek. Czech Republic would like to award twelve points to Latvia, and the Czech Republic would like to award nil points to Russia. Happy Eurovision! Happy Eurovision! Very well again. Storming ahead on 47 points already, uh, followed by Sweden on 36. But here's Ireland. Hello, everybody from Ireland. Ireland will be awarding 12 points to Greece. What a great song that was. And Ireland will be awarding nil points to Latvia. Oh, sorry, Latvia. <laughs> bye bye from Ireland. Well, the tables are turning on Latvia. They are indeed. Greece romping up behind them, 44 to 47, and now Russia. So here are my points. And Archangel is awarding no points at all to Latvia. No point. Consider this a warning, neighbor. And Archangel would like to give 12 points. To Austria for upholding tradition. Excellent work. No point to Latvia. 12 point to Austria. This is what Archangel says. Well done to everybody. Yay! Some very clear yeah. awards giving there. I feel like Archangel enjoying himself hugely. Yeah. Now let's see what Cyprus has to say. Hey. These are the points from Cyprus. I'd love to give 12 points to the Czech Republic because I love penguins. Hashtag save the penguins. I'd love to give zero points to Turkey because I'm vegan. Zero points for the maniacal Hakan mm. from Turkey there. No surprise. Latvia still out in front with 58. And here they come and here now. They are. Okay, hello. Tonight. So great to be back representing Latvia. Latvia so is a married couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to give our new points to Sweden. Sorry about that. Yeah. And our 12 points are going to Montenegro. Go <laughs> Eurovision. Yeah. I love you. I love you, baby. No points to Sweden. Hages Montenegro. Home country, of course. That's right. Montenegro romping ahead now. 62. Woo! And here they Yay! are. What a beautiful night. Thank you for listening to my song, Pirate of Love. A pirate, like on the seas. You know, a technical uh, problem, but it's beautiful. Ciao. Now, this is uh, voting from Montenegro. And I give 12 points to... Germany, because you're beautiful, <laughs> and nil point Greece. Power of love, woo! That brings it up. It's a tie now between Montenegro, Sweden, and Germany, all on 62 there. Very tight. Uh, but now, Iceland. Here they come. Hello, this is Todd Ogren, and I would like to give... 12 points to Latvia and zero to Sweden because, Hesh, you know what you did. I know it's love, I understand, but sure, you let our country down and we're, we're often very, very nonplussed about it, but this time I feel more than dead inside because usually feeling dead is great, but now I... I feel more than dead, Hesh. So, zero from you. 
a big stucken like an egg in for you. Mm, mm. That's how we feel, man. All right, all right. Peace out. Rachel, I think some grapes have turned sour. Yep, I feel the same, Marcus. A lot of svek there. Indeed. Uh, Greece now to come back. Montenegro, nil point. Germany, 12 points. Goodbye. Concise and to the point Absolutely. Very tight now between Germany and Sweden. Italy now. Let's see. I am here to give the points from the Italian judges. We award zero points to Iceland. Too loud, no melodia. But our 12 points, because we believe in amore, to the incredible Latvia! Ciao, ciao tutti, ciao tutti, arrivederci, ciao, 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 ciao! And goodbye from Italy. Indeed, 12 points and 12 chows there. Sweden now to give their marks. How do you do it, guys? It's Christian here from Sweden. Um, Okay, so we're gonna give a whole uh, 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 nil points to this, uh, this uh, betrayer, Latvia. And we're going to be giving our a whole lot of love over the 12 points to Iceland. You deserve it, bros. <laughs> Cheers from us. I think we can see where the loyalties lie yes, there. Yes, indeed. A lot of politics at play the here, Rachel. The betrayal is clear. Sweden um, not forgiving Latvia and siding, if anything, with Iceland. And in the lead, a tie with Sweden, Latvia and Germany. Yes, indeed. 86 points apiece there. I mean, Rachel, I will say this. I, um, I think everyone deserves to win. I disagree. Not at this. No. Not at but this, but at I mean at some something. stage. Yeah. Mm. I well, think I, at this stage it's time for us to hand back to the hosts. It absolutely is. So from Rachel Paris. And from Marcus Brigstock. We that's... bid you farewell and a happy alternate Eurovision. Wowzers, we did not see that coming. Can you believe that a tie between Latvia, Germany and Sweden? And you've literally got seconds left to vote. So if you know who you want to win, you need to get voting right now. It's, it's a really close call. I just have no idea who it might be. Andy, have you got a favourite? Uh, well, I was uh, I was saying Ireland earlier on in yes, the evening, you were, you were. Uh, but then Montenegro was very strong as well. But technical problems. Mm. Uh, I'm I'm going for Sweden. Sweden. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for Sweden. Okay, okay, bit of a glory supporter. I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, what about you, Tony? Uh, I like Iceland with the skull doggery. He certainly dug that skull. <laughs> Good one, Tony. And uh, I am thinking. I'm really still behind Russia. Actually, I just just love the way he opens opens those blinds. Um, so that's what I, I'm going to say. Oh, I'm going to have to cut you off because I hear that there is something juicy happening backstage. We should go over there now. Oh, Sullivan is a complete... OK, you guys, it is true. I'm not Irish, all right? I am from Surrey in England, but I am Irish in my heart. Like, honestly, I have spent summers in Ireland. I really love the country and it doesn't detract how great I am as a performer, right? I mean, I love Eurovision. I'm doing this for Eurovision. Okay, you guys? I hear you, man. Rock on. Beautiful! Well, it seems like Ireland has been forgiven. That is a beautiful moment there. On that note, the polls are now closed. And Pippa, I believe that you have the final results of the Showstoppers Alternative Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Yes, I do indeed. If I can get a drum roll, please. If you want to join in with that drum roll at home, I can announce that the winner of the 2021 Showstopper Alternative Eurovision Song Contest is... Hey, and Christina from Latvia! <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much! I love you so much! I like you so much! Oh, Latvia, we love you! Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Sweden, but thank you so much, fish everybody. And <laughs> fish and chips. We are fish and chips and everybody. Thank you, Eurovision. <laughs>
Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful win there. I mean, a big surprise, of course. I'm sure some, some sour grapes still there for Sweden, but uh, congratulations, Latvia. You are the winner. Now, we couldn't help but notice that there wasn't an entry for the UK this year. So, uh, as a gift to you, our wonderful viewers, here's a little gift from the Showstoppers. Been a long time since I've seen you On anything other than a screen Often think I might have dreamed you now Waking from the dream Maybe we've all grown forgetful How to play the social scene we're all in this together So follow me oh, oh, oh. Now we're coming out again Blinking into the light We're gonna see the brightest day after the darkest night We're coming out again We're gonna be alright We're gonna see the brightest day after the darkest night It's been the longest winter Now celebrate the spring Lift up your voices and sing Sing, 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 sing Now we're coming out again We're into the light We're gonna see the brightest day after the darkest night Yes, we are indeed. We're going to be all right. And that is almost us finished and over for this year. But uh, I don't know, Andy, shall we have one, la one more chip to the old green room? Heimlich, you promise to vote for me and you promise to vote for Hercules too. And you prank us. Yeah, it's, it's just a prank, Marco. It's just nothing more, nothing less. You cannot prank the heart, the head, the heat, the head. You cannot prank it. Okay. I have hurt you. Yes, you have hurt me. Oh, I, I am sorry, Marco. I, I, I do not mean to. I, sometimes I act without thinking. And please, would you accept my apologies? I will accept them because you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. you beautiful. And you're beautiful. That is not a prank. I'm going to go on another cruise with my friend Hercules. And this time, there will be no Heimlich and there will be no <sighs> prank. Okay? I understand. And thank think you, about it and stay beautiful. Ciao. I feel the same. Well, a beautiful end to a beautiful night. Tony, what was your highlight? I would say Cyprus with their wind machine. <laughs> Pippa? Uh, for me, it was the use of the word poop deck. <laughs> my highlight was when uh, Ryan Murphy said he liked my shirt. Oh, very lovely, indeed. Uh, oh, actually, there's just time for us to say goodbye to the judges. Roussel Carnet. Thanks, guys. See ya. That's from me, Les Dennis, thanking you all for letting me be part of this wonderful, wonderful night. It's a great, great show, and it shows that COVID has made people's creative juices flow, and we are back better than ever. Happy Alternative Eurovision. Wow, thank you so much, Alternative Eurovision. I have had a blast. It's been an amazing night of exceptional singing. Thank you for having me, but please, Let's remember that uh, the word sing is also in the word single, 
okay and and that's and that's what i am at this point i put myself out there uh put out my number gave a guy my number uh and you know got nowhere um and not to make it about me i'm just saying just like when you when you think of singing think of single think of london hughes and that's that's the true message of this evening i am single thank you guys take care thank you and good night <laughs> What a wonderful evening, a worthy winner. We've uh, had all sorts of emotions. We'd had, uh, it was a soap opera of sorts. So really all that is left is for me to thank my fellow hosts, uh, Andrew Pugsley and Mr. Tony Cordial. And thanks to you too, Pippa. And thanks to our amazing live captioner, Claire Hill, and our backstage team, Oscar Thompson on sound, Damien Robertson, the studio manager, and in the office, Susanna Rosenthal and Rhiannon Morris. Now we have raised quite a bit of money tonight for the care workers charity let's check in now with what the figure looks like right now that's amazing we have raised two thousand five hundred and ten pounds for a very very worthwhile cause do remember even though the show is about to be over you can carry on donating you can follow that link there and you can visit the careworkerscharity.org.uk to see more about the amazing work that they are doing uh, you can also follow us the show stop Go to uh, showstoppermusical.com to find out all of the information. We're going to be doing some regular live streams. And we are back, if you can imagine it, in a real-life theatre near you very, very soon. Uh, do check out our website and see that. But for now, from me and everybody here, it's time to wish you a very good night and a happy Alternative Eurovision. <laughs>